What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and today I'm going to be starting up my new series called Operator Mod Profile where I review and show you guys all of the Operator Mods for Black Ops 4. We're going to be going over everything the mod does, how it affects the stats, and just some general tips when using the mod. So, for our first episode, we're going to be going over the strobe light for the SG-12 shotgun. The strobe light operator mod can be unlocked once the SG-12 hits max rank at level 10 and pretty much what it does is it adds a bright flashing light that blinds the enemy player's vision. Upon first hearing this you may think that the attachment is quite literally useless but it's actually not that bad. It really does disorient the player who's within a good enough distance or proximity from it. Very very unique and there's never even been an attachment that has ever blinded another player before in combat history so like I said pretty unique in that way now the downside of using the strobe light is you are not able to aim down your sights but I think that's nothing to even be concerned about you can still somewhat ADS but the bullet spread just won't be as tight together regardless though it's not that bad of a trade-off because you can really confuse another player who's in a close engagement with you and the SG-12 on screen now is what the strobe light looks like from the enemy team's POV and as you can see it's just very hard to see your entire body especially if you do what my friend Motita is doing here which is moving from left to right and the strobe light kind of will last for about a millisecond on your HUD so definitely when you use this kind of strafe left to right and just really get the full disorient effect and confuse the enemy team. Now just to kind of show you guys what it looks like as well in a real gunfight I have on screen some of the kills I got and then I switch over to the enemy's POV in theater mode and yeah it's just very hard to really see exactly where the user may be going to but again just kind of move around try to not stay stationary when killing someone and you'll really just take advantage of the bright light there. You obviously don't want to engage in gunfights that are long distance because you're still gonna you know you're using a shotgun so you're not gonna really win those gunfights so try to just move around the map get around them with flank routes and uh, you'll completely ruin their day and make the other team feel so silly because they got killed by someone using a bright light on their gun now guys usually on average you'll have to be putting about three to four shots into an enemy player to kill them at about medium distance but if you're up close it's gonna take about two shots even if you hit the enemy player in the head it's still gonna take two shots so definitely Definitely spam that right trigger whenever you see the other player. You're never ever going to get a one-shot kill with this thing if the player is at full health. But if you're playing hardcore, then this shotgun just really, really shreds in that mode. So hardcore is where your money is going to be at here. As for the class I like to run, Extended Mags because it goes from 6 shells to a total of 10 shells in each mag. And then that gives it a total of 40 shells to shoot before you run out of ammo compared to 24. You can also run Extended Mags 2 to change it to 14 shells in each mag for a total of 56 shells before running out of ammo. So you can go that route if you really want to, but I kind of feel that Extended Mags 2 is a bit overkill. I prefer to run Long Barrel instead. And then for the perks, I'm going to run Scavenger to help refill my ammo after every kill. So that kind of negates the use of Extended Mags 2. Um, you're going to be finding yourself running out of ammo quickly with this gun, especially because the shotgun playstyle is mainly like close quarter engagements that kind of stuff so definitely use scavenger for your tier one then for the tier two slot always gung-ho always 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 that's going to benefit you so much with shotguns and then finally for the last perk slot is tracker because you can see the enemy footsteps at a pretty long distance as well chase them down and it's an easy kill from there now for the gear we're going to be using the equipment charge because of the specialist that works very very well with the sg12 show blight kit which is ajax if you talk a nine bang in a room that someone is in or even a hard point hill or a control zone you're basically guaranteed like two to three kills right there because of how good the shotgun is and they're basically just stunned too they can't heal themselves so it's an easy kill right there so definitely ajax pairs so so good with the sg12 shotgun kit um you guys definitely want to play hardcore with this kit like i said um if you don't have the strobe light you'll find yourself getting it in about like five games maybe a little bit more in in hardcore um because like it just shreds so much man like hardcore is where the money's at with S with the sg12 i also prefer to play free for all and domination or hard point maybe control here and there 
um, but it kind of just depends on what play style I'm playing and what the team wants. So uh, again, guys, if you definitely want to use the strobe light kit, um, you can. It's very, very good for those game modes. So let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video. And I got some really awesome stuff planned for the operator mods, guys. If you want me to continue on with this series, then please tell me down below in the comments. Now, for one last tip I'd like to mention is if you use the strobe light on a dog or a strike team, then the light will actually blind them. However, it's only going to be for a short period of time. It's not really meant for you to survive one of the two. It's just kind of meant to give yourself some space between them or even buy you some time to take them out. So if you see a dog or a strike team, use the light on them and make your escape. If there's a specific operator mod you'd like to see, just tell me and I'd be more than happy to do so. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for the support. It really does mean a whole lot to me. You guys are very, very awesome. Like, uh, my last couple of videos have been doing pretty well. So I, I greatly am indebted to y'all. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done for me. And I'm going to continue on producing some amazing content that I possibly can for Black Ops 4. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.